Do you guys want to hear something crazy? Someone pointed this out the other day, and it just blew me away. Um, so, I think most of you have heard of The Lord of the Rings, and some of you have read the books, and a lot of you have seen the movies. The movies that have come out recently, uh, the Hobbit movies, are prequels. Anyways, The Lord of the Rings has three installments, three books, three movies, the last of which was The Return of the King, the epic culmination of the trilogy. I'm sure there are a lot of you that are fans and know a whole lot about this, but here's something that you might not know. Here's the crazy part. Get this. The Return of the King, the movie, came out a decade ago. That's ten years. That that floored me for some reason. I, I don't even know how to describe it. This really has nothing to do with The Lord of the Rings, but everything to do with time and our perception of it. In my head... That there's no way that was ten years ago, and I went and saw that in theaters. That means I would have been like thirteen years old. Now, I know that some of you are actually thirteen years old right now, which would have made you only a toddler when that movie came out, and you might not be able to totally understand why this is so crazy to me, and that's okay. Um, anyways, I've always considered myself a person that has a poor perception of time uh, when looking back on it. Um, I can never really remember how long ago things happened, whether it was big or small, or 10 days or 10 years ago. I'm, uh, I'm just bad at it for some reason. But this example with the movie just affected me more than usual. There was this famous guy named Abraham Lincoln uh, that once said something like, The best thing about the future is that it comes one day at a time. And, you know... I have to hand it to him. That's very true. And very profound. But the past, on the other hand, seems to leave at astronomical speeds. Another guy of similar repute named Benjamin Franklin said, You may delay, but time will not. I find this platitude much more compelling. It drives me to want to keep drawing more. To keep creating more, um, keep doing productive things with my time. So like, get on the bandwagon, the time mobile, because the time train is leaving the station and it's never coming back. But, well, you might be able to catch it at the next station or something. I'm not sure how it works. I'm not a time scientist.